forgot our cheerleading game, but never fear. I am here, so we will just put our chilies in here. No wonder was mild. <laughs> Can't fix that right away. Put our chilies in here. Put some beef broth inside. And blend. There we go. Let me throw this very good one. Solid gold. Liquid gold. Liquid gold. stuff right there going in. So give it a good stir. Marinate chilies with the, the sauce. Oh, you can go chico. Okay. We'll be back. When we get back, Get this in the Insta pot, and we go from there. Thank you. Okay. The, the rest of your chili water hydration, pour that in the Insta pot, and two bay leaves. Pour that. Put that in the pot. Put on your cover. Your knob. Turn it to the left. Make sure this is down. Push this. 20 minutes a pound. And there's three pounds. There's three pounds. One hour, 20 minutes. We're going to add on another 20. So we're going to cook this for an hour, 40 minutes. And when we'll be back, we'll, we'll make the birdie and put it in the bun. Stay tuned, guys. All right. All right, it's, it's time. It's been a while. Let's see how we did. Juicy. Falling apart. Hey <laughs> baby, it's tender. Yeah, three pounds, one hour, 40 minutes, perfect. Oh, you can also use a, a Dutch oven. If you have a Dutch oven and you don't have a pressure cooker, you can do it in a Dutch oven. Uh, set the uh, temperature to your stove at 350 degrees for two and a half to three hours or if you don't have a Dutch oven or a pressure cooker you can do it on your, your stove top same process or a crock pot yeah slow cooker 
or slow cooker, crock pot. But on a stove, it's the same as a, a Dutch oven. You put them on, put them on the stove, bring up the heat, bring it to a boil. That boil for 20 minutes, and then you put it down to a simmer, and you cover it for at least two and a half, three hours, and your results will be just like this. Do not get rid of it. This gravy, you keep it, and when you when you're done baking your buns, you can also dip your bun into this gravy. Good stuff. So let's see how tender it is. That really is. Oh, look at that. Effortlessly. Effortlessly. Just pulling apart. Pulling apart. They say you cook them today, you assemble tomorrow much better it's like stew when you make stew you cook them today you eat them tomorrow much tastier but we're not going to eat this tomorrow we're going to shred this let it cool down assemble it bake it and we're going to have a taste test Till then, we'll be back. When we we'll be back, this thing will be cooled down, then we'll start assembling. Okay, see you guys in a bit. Hello. like making char siu bao. Yes, uh, bless. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, now officially, we're we'll gonna let it cool down, and then we're gonna assemble and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. Um, got our beef burrito all chopped up, cooked, cooled down. Got our mozzarella cheese. Nice, fat, juicy piece of cheese and our Pillsbury biscuit. I'll just open this up. We start again that hack that um, pepper towel underneath the cut, cutting board. <coughs> Put some flour on your cutting board, no shame. And always flour your rolling thing. Okay, biscuit. Just put flour on both sides. I flatten it with my hand first. You put flour so it don't stick to your hand or your board. Like so. And you use your 
rolling pin to just roll it out. And I'm gonna make it kind of big circle. <clears throat> Because when you're folding it, you want to make sure that your ends fold real good. Because if you don't make it tight, you don't leak your cheese. Don't have to be a perfect circle. Just have to be big enough. Pass me some palms, please. Mozzarella cheese. Thank you. Big, big guys. Big boys. Put them in the center. When you put your meat, be generous. Don't be skimpy. Give from my heart. I wash my hands anyway, so don't worry. Put another piece on top. And this way you fold it inward. Pinch the bottom and you do something because you want it to stay tight, not loose. So I think I'm going to do it like that. Kuga, he pinch the bottom like that. <clears throat> Just work it in there. We kind of meet together. have it a nice burrilla in a bun you get your grease pan and you just pop it on like that do one more same process put flour on the top flour on the bottom flour on the palm press it down Spread it out. Make sure you follow your roller. And just roll them up. Again, it don't have to be perfect. It just have to be kind of big. Don't worry about the shape. Just want it round in general. <clears throat> Cheese. Meat. Pinch the bottom, almost like making dim sum. Those Chinese people, they know how to make beautiful dim sum. And yes, I'm Chinese too, so I'll be, I should be able to make beautiful dim sum. <laughs> yes, sir, bless. Mr. Yi, get back to rapping.
Okay, so that's the basics. When we when we'll come back, this pan will be full. And it's already in the oven. See you then. All right, guys. Here we are. Um, final, semi-final product. We got five Berea buns in a pan. And the best thing about this, you can give them as a gift. And when you give them as a gift, you don't have to cook it now. You can make it like this, put it in the ice box, put a cover, present it as a gift, and have that person bakes it when they want to eat it. 350 degrees for 15, 20 minutes or until golden brown. So from here, we throw it in the oven and it will come back with the final product and a taste test. Um, put it in a pan, put it in the oven, 350 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes or until golden brown. We'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, at that time. Woo! Oh yeah. Right. Oh, nice and hot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. I'm gonna have a taste test. Taste test. Right. One for you. Thank you. One for you, Mr. Lau. Yum! And one for me. Okay. Moment of truth, gang. Itatakimas. Okay. Here we go. It goes Latin. Mmm. Mmm. It is oh no. Juicy. Mmm. Mmm. I like it. Shall we try with your consomme sauce? Mm. Yes, please. Consomme is good. Dip it in. Mmm, flavorful. Mm -hmm. Damn, this is good stuff. It sure is. Hey guys, we're gonna enjoy the rest of our barilla. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Hit that. Hit that share button and subscribe button. And if you made this recipe, don't forget to comment down below to say how much you enjoyed it. Or if you don't like it, feel free to comment down below too so that we we get to um, improve. Yes, yes. Alright guys, till next time. Thank you for watching JL Adventures. Aloha! This thing is not bad, man.